yeah, it snowed again, as you guys can tell. April 6th, and we still got snow. Great. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with me, Ty Fishing. Before we even start this video, I want to say if you are new to the channel, help me get 500 subs to subscribe to the channel. Because at 500, I'm doing a giant giveaway and inviting one lucky viewer to come fish with me, or I'll come fish with you, and we just make a bunch of videos. So it's free stuff, and I get a fish with you, or you get a fish with me. Basically, you know, we fish together. That's what I meant to say. So subscribe to the channel, help me out a lot. But today we are doing the Ned Rig versus the Tube Jig and see which one works better at this pond. This is the golf course pond that I've been here for a while. Sorry, I'm doing the intro right next to this big old tree, but I mean, the wind is just going crazy today. As you can see, it snowed, which is great. April 6th and it's 30 degrees out. Two days ago, it was 60. So I don't know if these fish can bite because that's like, 30 degree drop so that is great but I mean we I guess we just have to see so <laughs> stick around and hopefully we can get up um can I see some fish while I'm, I'm I woke up late today I woke up late I'm sorry but I just got a brain fart dude I woke up I woke up late all right before we even start fishing I just want to show you the difference between a net rig and a two bait because some of you may not know what a net rig or a two bait is even though a two bait is really popular net rig a lot of people don't know what it is so, so I'm going to show you the differences so this is a Z-Man Ned Rig. Z-Man, what you want to get is the Ned Rig, of course. This is it. It's like a Senko, basically, but it's super like flimsy. A lot of people call them pickle baits. I mean, a lot of, I know some people call them penis baits. They're really stretchy, and for some reason, they hold up really good. Like, I can just go like this, and like, it's not breaking. They're really uh, flexible. Like I said, I said already before, really stretchy. I mean, it's not it's not going anywhere. I've never really broken one of these. I kind of just stretched it out a little bit. Oh no, it's going back together. It's like it's like Play-Doh, you know, you stretch it and then it just folds up back together. Like brand new again. Now I do, this is my last one. Now the thing about these is they're kind of expensive. Z-Man is $6 I and mean, then you have to buy the hooks. And these are the hooks. They're weighted on the top. They're float. They're like a flat weight. It looks like a, a penny, just like is on top. And then someone just glued it, um, a hook to it. That's basically what it is. And I like these way better than other ones, like any other setup. These are the Z-Man hooks for these, and the way you rig them is like this. Go for the top, and basically like uh, like rigging a crawl or something. Go for the bottom. That's a little bit too much. Go like that. And then there you go. And then it's just like that. And now, there's six hours a piece. That's the thing. Like, for a pack of five of these, it's six hours. A pack of five of these, the hooks, six dollars plus twelve dollars to even get it to set up. Now, there is cheaper ones that aren't made by Z-Man. Z-Man, but I would, I would definitely go with Z-Man because they got the best action. And then, if you get like Z-Man, like the networks, and then something else, something else for the hook it's not the same action that would you get with z-man you know everything combo so that's what i like about these i always use green pumpkin because like almost every fish likes green pumpkin let's let's, let's just face the facts everybody uses green pumpkin you know so i got green pumpkin now this is how i use them so tie the knot right and i just bounce them on the bottom like this so the little end is just like wiggling around and usually if fish just comes up grabs it and then, you know, you set the hook. And yeah, I just bounce them on the bottom like that to where this point, the 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 weight is just like basically grinding. Or you can just bounce them like this. And I mean, the tail still, you know, flaps around. You just want to make sure the tail is flapping. That's basically, if you, it's just sitting there like this. I mean, it looks like a plant. Let's, 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 let's agree. It all looks like a plant if it's just sitting still. But when it's moving, like, look, come on. It looks like a leash or something. Bass love them. So. Yeah, so these are the tubes that I like, Field and Stream. They were they were on sale, so I just picked them up. Basically, all tubes are the same. These are green, pumpkin, purple. I've never even heard of that. This is what they look like. As you see, they look like a squid. That's why they're called tube baits. They got these uh, little, like, uh, tentacles. Let's just call them. I was going to say flappies, but, like, what's a flappy? So they got these little tentacles. And these are the jigs. Now, these jigs are weighted in the front, so when you get them, they just like bounce to the bottom, same as the net rig, but then you got these little flappies that flap all over the place. More action. Smallmouth really love tube baits. 
Now the Feel and Stream, these are infused with sugar and they cost about $2. These were on sale, $2. These are like, I think $5, $4, $5 a pack. Sorry about the lighting. $4, $5 a pack. So all together it's like $7. Six to seven, let's just say. Now how you rig these, you wanna make sure you don't get any of the flappy sucked in into the tube when it's it's kind of hard at first you go like this right and then you just go in and then at the end and then you want to basically rip a little hole right to make sure this part comes out and then there you go you got your little flat piece like that so now the weight is in the front so now you basically use it just like the memory how I said you can just bounce on the bottom and now look at the little flappies just flapping around or you can just jig like this and the same thing with the flappies you know they flap around and stuff it's that's why they that's why i say they look like just like squids you know squids they shoot back and the little little tentacles flapping around and stuff so that's the difference between a net rig and uh two bait just in case you guys didn't know now let's get to fishing first cast with the net rig here we come let's see if something won't bite it first cast we get a first cast, that would that'd be pretty cool. It was, it was just straight, uh, yeah, well, it was just straight, yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. There we go, we got one. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned there, bud. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Let's stay pinned there, buddy. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, he's up in the rocks. Okay, he's up in the rocks. That is definitely a decent little guy for today. I gotta go and get him now because I, I can't flip with six pound test. So, uh, that is that is not a bad one for today, I would say. Jaw is really sharp for some reason. Healthy fish, bit the net rig. Look at this, look at the gill plates. Why are they just so like out there, dude? This fish, I think this fish's head grew faster than his whole body. All right, let's see if we can't get any more fish on the net, right? It sucks that I have limited amount of line. I have enough to make a decent cast, let's just say that. I don't have enough to like, you know, cast super far, which, which is okay, I guess. Actually, you know what? We just caught a fish. He's coming right at us. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Who, who would have knew? Who would have knew? We just caught. Who would have knew? That we just caught another, another little fish, another little largemouth. What is up there, bud? Right at the top of the lip, just like how you want them. Okay, I was about to just walk down there, but of course he's had to start flapping, flapping around. Hey right, guys, so we did a full rotation around the pond with the Ned Rake, and we only caught two fish, which I'm not really surprised about. Usually the Ned Rake catches maybe like five to ten fish here, and today was only two. And I feel like it's because the temperature decreased so much. Like I said, it was 60 two days ago, now it's 30 today, and it snowed today. So there might be a pressure system right here. I don't, I don't know why these fish are biting. The water probably got super cold again. So honestly, you know, I can't I can't blame for biting. You know, fish don't want to bite. They don't want to bite. Weather is a factor and all that. The environment, blah 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 blah. It's 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 whatever. You know, at least I caught some fish. So I'm gonna switch up to the tube, tube jig, and see if anything will bite that. I'm thinking it's the same outcome. You know, maybe one or two fish will bite. But who knows? You you never know. Maybe they just want the tube, not the net rig today. All right, guys. So now we're gonna be using the tube tube jig and hopefully we can catch something on this because let me tell you i never caught anything on a tube jig before so tube jig never caught a fish on a tube jig that's not good that's probably not the best it just happened there oh that was already a bite that was already a bite yo 
I believe it was. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. I don't know, the line was really tight though. There we go. That's my first that's my first ever fish on a tube jig. That's my first ever fish on a tube jig right there. <laughs> dude, they're eat dude, they're eating today good. Let's let's try to flip them while breaking the line. Ah! <laughs> Another decent fish, man. Another decent little dude. Definitely not a bad fish on the tube jig. Definitely longer than the last one. He's flinching. He's got a lot of power. Definitely longer than the last one. I give him that. On the tube jig. Whoa, dude, look at that. Look at his lips. He is definitely feeding on the bottom. No wonder why he bit this. Now I'm not gonna go down there because it's just a straight drop, but I'm gonna just 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 try. There he goes. He's same way. He's fine. Right here's where Burfa lives. Right over here. There's like a there's like a big old brush brush pile right here. Me and you got a love hate relationship, right? You know? I make a couple casts. She bites, and then I don't set the hook in time. That's just Burfa. That is just Burfa. Maybe we can catch her today. Probably not, because when I was over here a couple days ago, she bet. And of course, I just lost her again, but you know, that's that's our love hate relationship. Hey guys, that is it for this video. Today was kind of uh, a bummy day, I guess. I mean, I still caught fish one, uh, okay size one, and then a medium one, and then a small one. But that's just whatever. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It did start to rain, so I am trying to just get out of here. Um, the good news was I caught my first fish out of tube, so that's great. And we found out that uh, the Ned Rig did catch more fish. I went around the whole pond with both and come with fish in the Ned Rig. Which today, um, I guess we shouldn't even count because of the temperature decrease, but it worked, you know, it worked. <laughs> so I'm gonna just head home, probably edit this video and warm up because my fingers, I can't feel them because it is like 30 degrees right now. Even though the snow, the snow did melt though. The snow did melt, so that's good. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 500 subs. Again, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna be doing a giant giveaway at 500 subs and inviting one like if you were to come fish with me, so hit that like button. Share this video, get everybody you know to subscribe, comment, I reply to all comments. And I love you guys. See you guys in the next video with me, Ty Fisher.